Hey there guys, Zach here from Rimbaza and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile build 14.322. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 14.925. Now it's been a while since we've done a video on mobile builds. There hasn't really been anything to talk about but today's build introduces a lot of new things. A lot of things to do with the action center. Uh, to do with Cortana, lots and lots of new improvements that many insiders would enjoy. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with the Action Center, or more specifically with the Quick Actions within the Action Center. The Quick Actions area is now much more customizable. So if we jump into Notifications and Actions here, you'll see I now have a drag and drop UI that I can just, you know, move actions about wherever I want them. I can put Battery Saver down here, up here, put it in the middle there. I can now customize the action center to my liking. I can even add and remove action center, um, uh, quick actions from the action center. So I can turn four of them off there. So now only three will show up when I swipe down. So, so only three instead of the usual, uh, sorry, three rows instead of the usual four rows. And of course you can turn all of them off if you really wanted to, and you can turn all of them on and you can move them about your liking. Uh, very nice and makes the action center much more customizable. Now the next noteworthy change here is with action or oh, notification user interfaces. So as you can see here, uh, no longer will apps just show the icon of the app with every notification. As you can see, I've got a notification here, and the app icon is only showing up in the header. For in this case, it's the Cortana app. So I've now also got the ability to add hero images. Certain developers can add this functionality into their apps and. If the app supports it, this will show up, otherwise it won't. So as you can see here, I've now got a nice big hero image and I've got a reminder here. It says, don't forget, buy a Surface Book. I can snooze for five minutes. I can click, let's snooze for five minutes because I may come back to this because the um, the UI for it. Actually, before I do that, you can now hold notifications as well and you get a context menu as well, which is very nice. So let's actually snooze this for five minutes. So we get a pop up in just a little bit. Let's move on. What is next? Oh yes, you can now prioritize notifications in the action center as well. Where's my settings at? There it is. So if we go back into the notifications area, you will see the apps that show up. You can now prioritize them much like on desktop. You can now make them top, high or normal. Very nice indeed. Let's move on now. Now, so you, since you saw just a second ago, I added a hero image to a reminder within Cortana. You can now do that in Cortana. It's pretty cool. If we go into the reminders area here, let's create a new reminder. You can see I've got the remember to and then I can add a little icon here either via the from the library or I can just take a new picture and then save it to this specific reminder so it shows up in action center and stuff when that reminder is set to show up. Very, very nice. Now you probably already noticed this, but this is another change in this build. There are now icons next to text in the settings app. So the settings app's getting kind of a facelift. You may have already noticed no longer are headings up here by the uh, the little cog icon up here. No longer are they capitalized. It's all lowercase or, you know, normal first letters, uppercase and the rest is lowercase, all that good stuff. So yes, a lot more professional, if you will, uh, looking much nicer. And there are also a couple things uh, got a couple of new options. I say new, they're just options that have moved about. So the navigation bar now gets its own thing here and as does glance screen, except I'm using the Lumion Line 30, which doesn't have a glance screen option. But if I did have glance screen, it would show up under lock screen here, which is very, very nice. Let's move right along. Updated battery settings and battery saving experience. So the same changes that were shown off on the PC build last week are here as well. So if we jump into here, lots and lots of good stuff here. Detailed battery usage. I'm not entirely sure what's new to be precise. Microsoft is just saying there's a new experience. So there you go, new experience, pretty fantastic. Emojis, emojis are in this build as well. So if you were somebody waiting for emojis to serve on your phone, congratulations, they are here now. So if we go into, damn it, really? New message, thank you. Read only, why? I cannot, okay, type Skype message, we go there. There you go, look, all the new emojis are here for you to enjoy, very, very, very awesome. Now, a big change that many insiders have been asking for for ages are music controls on the lock screen. Well, guess what, they're here in this build. I have a sample track here that I can play. Uh, let's try not to play it, it's so too loud. So now that's playing, I can go about my day in my phone, I can lock my phone. And I can even unlock the phone and look what we have here. At the top of the screen, I now have a constant UI for switching between music. I can play and pause the music here. 
very very nice indeed so another nice change coming to windows 10 mobile anniversary update uh, obviously commenting on the feed uh, commenting in the feedback hub let's stop that music uh feedback hub here you can have comments just like on PC again. So th th since this is 14.322, the build number, it includes most of the PC changes plus new ones, which is what we've walked through today. So very, very nice indeed. Come on, five minutes. Hurry up. I want to show off that notification again. So let's open the feedback hub here. Yes, excellent. I could have sworn this was in the last build as well. I have no idea. Oh, well feedback and stuff so let's wait it's taking a little bit of time to load i admit okay feedback that one we can now add comments as you can see here so no or yes i'm not going to send that because it's not helpful and microsoft needs all the help they can get in the feedback hub so that's pretty much it for this build, all the most noteworthy changes. Uh, messaging everywhere isn't here yet. That will be in the next inside of release, as far as I'm aware. So if we go into settings here, you can see there's no messaging everywhere. It's still using the old app from before, but not a long wait now. So we should be seeing that very soon. Seriously, how long ago did I snooze that bloody notification? You know what? I took a picture of it earlier. Let me just show you the picture. No, nope, where am I going? Oh, never mind. There it is. So there you go. There's the notification. You can obviously do your normal stuff. Complete. It's all done. Okay. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.